Hi, my name is Marek Konina and I'm the founding partner of OSA. We are a company that realizes the API benefits your business deserves. Big thing on how we get things done is the method called API cycles. Now, I used to be you. I used to be an architect. I used to be a business unit manager. I used to be a product manager. I have been there trying to get APIs done. I have tried to get several teams, big organizations to do APIs in a certain way, in a managed way, to roll out API management, API best practices in the organization, and also build online sales channels, API ecosystems, you name. So one of the things I realized was that when I was working with the teams, there's something that me and my teams are doing differently. So what I realized was that there was a method to the madness. And I think that was the, the tipping point, really, because I combined design thinking, product management, business modeling, lean management, and kind of DevOps mindset to how APIs should be done. But also thinking of the quality, because one of the key problems at one point was that I was managing teams where the teams were supposed to manage API management solutions, platforms, gateways, and they were having trouble with all the development teams. I mean, they were great development teams, don't get me wrong. But the problem was that they were not making APIs publishable on the API management platform. Most of it was some sort of a validation problem with the open API or other specifications. Sometimes the API was just not making any kind of sense. You couldn't know what it was supposed to do, where it should go, who should be using it. There was zero documentation about it. So many of the APIs were returned to the sender, so to speak, just before they were supposed to be published. And we all know that that doesn't make any sense. Some team has spent some weeks, months, or even a half a year developing an API, and then just when it, it is supposed to be published, somebody goes and says, you know, this is no good. We are not going to publish this. No go. Okay, that doesn't really sound like a promising conversation to have, not from a cost point of view, not from a schedule point of view, but certainly not from a team motivation point of view. So that needed to be fixed, and that's why that was the ultimate reason why API cycles was born. And we use that method a lot with our customers, but as you can see in the map there, there are also many other companies in the world and public sector organizations that are using it. Not just us, not just the companies that we've been working with. It just makes sense and it is openly licensed. Hey, we would like you to try out Osangos Use API of Cycles like a pro course in Osango Academy and hear about your API products and help your team out.